Hello everyone, this is Adam with AEW Main Treasure Adventures. Today, we're over at Head Tide Dam. We're going to get suited up, jump in. I'm going to use my Garrett uh, AT Gold Metal Detector, along with my Nemo system. We're going to clean out anything in the swimming area, see if we can find anything cool. And who knows, this thing's been around forever. I may be able to find some old tools that were used for uh, logging or working this dam. So we'll see what we can come up with. Anyway, let's get geared up. Let's get wet. The Head Tide Dam is one of 12 mill sites that were developed on the Sheepscot River in the late 18th century. The Sheepscot was important to generations of residents as mills on the river provided an early source of power for trade and economic growth. As technology advanced, the mills were abandoned and generally fell into disrepair. Natural forces remove some, while others still remain. A resurgence of the river restoration energized efforts to remove and or modify some of the barriers, such as right here. Head Tide Village gained its name from its location above Head of the Tide Dam. It's about a half a mile downstream of the dam, and it generated water power for the village of Head Tide, beginning as early as 1760. The present concrete dam was built in 1916 with a wooden mill on either side. The busy days of the mills largely ended in the 1940s as declining lumber supplies and rapid technology changes made them less viable. The last mill on the site burned down in 1949. The town of Alna was gifted this property in 1964 from the Jewett family, the last owner of the dam. In 1974, the area of the dam, including the village, was designated as an historic district and listed in the National Historic Registry. In 1959, the West Side Sluiceway was opened to aid the upstream migration of river herring and Atlantic salmon. However, the opening still created a velocity barrier where the fish couldn't get upstream in certain times of the spring, thus preventing their safe and timely passage to their natal spawning grounds upriver. Beginning in 2015, the town of Alna in partnership with the Atlantic Salmon Federation, commissioned engineering studies to explore options for the future of the dam. These studies considered various dam modifications as related to the historic preservation, recreation, and improved fish passage. Ultimately, town voters approved an Atlantic Salmon Federation proposal in 2017 to remove a section of the dam, construct a new river overlook, preserve historic features, and establish the safe public access. The project was completed in 2019.
Hello everyone, this is Adam with AEW Main Treasure Adventures. We just got out of Head Tide Dam and on the main. We jumped in real quick, roughly a couple hours, and pretty much dug anything that was within six inches or less. We found a lot of nails, some screws, some random iron, Pulled out one piece of glass, found a couple of coins, one being a penny, it's not all that old, and one being a nickel. And this was from 1999. Lead weight. Uh, one of the coolest things there is the fish. They have everything from stripers to uh, the white sucker fish. It was pretty cool. Do you get a fishing lure? Some wire. I don't know what this this is in the back. I don't know if it was a tool. They used to do logging at this um, dam. AEW out.